Hi, I'm Charity Lowe. I have been a portrait artist for many years, and when I discovered Da Vinci Eye, it has changed the way that I draw. I'm here to show you how I use the app and as well as other tips and tricks that I use to make my art look so realistic. So let's get started. This video ended up being two hours long, so I'm just speeding up the video and I'm just going to tell you what I've done as I go through the video. So I'm taping it down um, because I don't want the page to move while I'm drawing. Um, and then I'm going to be going in to move the picture. So I press the move button and adjust it to the size of the page on the screen. And once it's in the same place that I want it to be, I'm going to turn off move so it won't move around while I'm press, like touching the screen to um, zoom in and stuff like that. Uh, I'm now in breakdown on my tools bar and I chose five different steps. I use four pencils and the brightest, brightest one is one I don't use a pencil for. So the four different pencils is HB, 4B, H, and H4. Um, so I just go, like I, I zoom in and I do one section at a time going from darkest to lightest and then just repeating that process over and over again until I'm done. So this is what I call my blocking stage. Just want to make sure that everything uh, that needs to be covered is covered. Um, I also want to point out that um, you don't use the very tip of the pencil. You use the side of the pencil. Um, it gives you some softer lines and it won't cut into your paper and leave um, permanent lines that you don't probably don't want later on. So I'm about finished here. Uh, next up, I'm going to take some toilet paper. You can use paper towel or whatever. I just find toilet paper is cheaper and it does a good enough job and I'll blend the whole thing out. Um. So I go back into breakdown, I turn it off and turn it back on again and I make sure it has the maximum steps that it can go on. Then I will change the exposure and lower the exposure and um, Go in, go in and erase the lightest parts that I can find on the paper and erase them with my little teeny tiny eraser that I got. The next step is I'm going to be um, doing the darkest darks. So what I'll do is I'll increase the exposure, make it super bright, also with the maximum amount of steps. And I'm going to be using a black watercolor pencil for this so that I can get the darkest without, like pretty dark without pushing too hard on the piece of paper. And I also use a paintbrush at the end and do some fine details with that watercolor pencil being on the page already. So now I'm going to go to breakdown and turn that off, then go to opacity and turn that to the fullest. Then I'm going into strobe and turning that on. And then I'll zoom in and pretty much play the game of spot the difference. Get all the details you can. Smoothing out the dark spaces that I've made and blending it in a bit better. I also look, like to look at the image on another device like a tablet. 
and compare what I see on the page to that image on the tablet because sometimes those details get lost. I'm doing little fine hair strands that like to escape. Gives it a little bit more of a realistic touch. Those eyes took a long time for me to do. And just keep on comparing what I see on the tablet to um, the page and also comparing to what the strobe is showing me, like the little fine details. So now I'm pretty much ready to do my last couple of steps here. Um, what I'm going to be doing is taking my super fine paintbrush and just with water, um, I go into the dark areas and just kind of shape it a little bit more. The water makes it look a little darker. It fills in the little cavities of the paper. So I'm giving the hair a little bit more depth to it, more shape. There's also times when I use a little bit of charcoal just to make it even darker, but I'm not doing that in this video, or even a little bit of chalk to like smooth out the skin. And again, I'm not using that in this video. I'm going in and making the eyes a little bit darker in some areas. And pretty soon here, I'm gonna be using the white acrylic. I don't use a lot of it, so I honestly just do a little tiny dot of um, paint into my little container that I have. And I'm painting the um, catch lights in their eyes and a little bit uh, around the iris to make that pop a bit more. Um, her nose ring and earrings do a little bit of that to make it look like it's shiny and a little bit on her mouth and then there's also her necklace that's silver and i want it to look shiny so i put a little bit on there as well so that pretty much sums up my video if you have any general questions about the app you can contact the creators at the info at davinciiapp.com or if you have any requests for any future tutorial videos, you can contact me directly at charitylowesartdve at outlook.com. Um, or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram at Charity Lowe's Art. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the near future.